My name is Amiri Rick. I come from Germany. Um, I got to know the man of God through YouTube uh, channel. So that time I asked God, I said, God, if you want me to have a spiritual father, then then you need to show me that true, uh, that spiritual father for me. And not just someone coming from random saying that I'm the spiritual daughter. So um, I have a group of prayer warriors that we always pray around uh, uh, five o'clock German time and some of them are actually from South Africa, some of them from Zambia and uh, different kind of countries in America and so on. So we join together at five, five o'clock German time and we pray together. So during that time, I think I called the group and nobody was attending and uh, the Holy Spirit just said, just put on some, you know, worship music on YouTube. So when I turned on the, um, the worship, uh, the YouTube worship music, uh, it just happened that Papa's picture just came like like this in tongues, uh, praying in tongues. And I thought to myself, wow, let me just listen to that. So when I began to listen to that, I just had Papa speaking in tongues of these very supernatural tongues of the realms. So I thought to myself, let me just continue to to listen to him so i began to pray with papa that very same day and i just fell in love with his tongues i was like oh my god something very special about this man of god so after this day i decided i saw the holy spirit told me that you should go and search for this man of God. Maybe he might be on Facebook. Maybe he can be anywhere on Twitter or something of that sort. Find out who he is. So when I came um, on you on Facebook, I just realized that he's on Facebook, and I was so happy just to see that he has got these services going on. So we are me um at the time I'm also still having the five o'clock prayers. So what happened is that I was. Um, uh, uh, we had verses which we had of the day, like five o'clock each day. We're having verses which we go through and then we have got uh, declarations and prayers with the sisters. But every day I was selecting, selecting certain prayer points with uh, scriptures and the very same scriptures which I had selected at five o'clock and Papa was having, I think at 19, which is almost like seven o'clock or six o'clock. He was having Bible studies, I think it was. He was having the same scriptures and I asked God, what? is this it's not it does, it's not supposed possible that this man of god is having the same scriptures as i am having in a prayer group at five o'clock uh it was i think after a week i was prompted so badly that i couldn't sleep i thought to myself i have to come to cape town and meet this man of god My very first day when I was having the services, I, I spoke to the Lord. I said, Father, if this man of God points at me or calls me out and locates me, then I will know actually he is my spiritual father. So really God confirmed it. And in the presence of the man of God on that day when he came in at the altar, I did see Jesus and my eyes were closed, but I knew I felt the presence of God, the presence of Jesus on the right hand side. And Papa was on the around, around the altar side and he began to pray. I had not even opened my eyes. I was even afraid to open my eyes. I, I felt the presence of God and then I began to, to, to shiver when I see him uh, the whole time when, when he's coming. I'm just shivering, shivering. I'm just feeling the, the power of the Holy Spirit. But I just feel the presence of God, the presence of the Holy Spirit when a man of God is in the house. My name is Mary. Rick. Mary. Mary Rick. Mary Rick, where are you from? I come from Germany. You came from Germany? Yes, man of God. And I saw God begin to ask me to tell you that he's about to open the reins for you. Amen. Are you hearing me now? Yes. There's going to be an encounter you're going to have. Yes. A deeper encounter that will bring restoration and healing and all the things that you've been going through will come on the supernatural, miraculous power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Bro. What I saw was when I looked at you, I saw heaven opened. When I looked, I saw two layers of light. When I looked, I said, what is this? 
So God says that these two layers of light are divine transportations that is about to come. God is about to take you on an encounter. You didn't come from Germany because you wanted to come. God brought you here. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. In the first of August, I had an encounter. I work in a hospital and I came home at five o'clock. I lie down in bed and then I started to feel tingling from my feet. I was feeling like paralyzed, kind of from, from down going up. I knew I was going, really. I just knew I was going. My husband went to, to the bathroom and uh, I saw great lights that were coming from heaven, coming to me like, at a speed of light. They were, so, they were like going to suck me in this, uh, in this, this lights. I was going to be sucked in. But then I, I remember I said, when he comes back and he will just touch me because it's already the morning, he will touch me and say, Mary, I'll be dead. I will be dead. So I said, Father in heaven, do not allow me to die now because he will touch me and find me dead. And then I saw the angel standing on my, uh, on my bed, very tall, he almost entered the ceiling up there. And when I prayed that, I, I began to become normalized. My body became warm. It was cold, really like a death. Uh, it was death, really, it was death. I was dying. And I praised the Lord. And after this thing, uh, the Holy Spirit just uh, pushed me. You need to go and search the man of God on Facebook. And the moment I just had the summons, I was just drawn to him. My husband helped me to arrange everything that I can be able to come here. <laughs> And in November, I had only, I actually had maybe one week and my boss gave me the whole month just to come to South Africa. And that is my testimony. Did you tell me this before? Uh, no, but I think I told these sisters of mine, I said, this is not normal because when I go in prayers with them, it's five o'clock German time, and sometimes man of, I connect with the man of God in the prayers. Even I'm at work, I put my, my headphones, I'm riding my bicycle to work. I listen to the sermon, and then I am having visions like I'm here and you are there, and we're in tongues and we're praying. I said, This is something very special. I need to go to Cape Town and meet the man of God and ask him about all these things which are happening in my life because I definitely I have a connection with him. And every time I'm going in prayers, the verses he's using on the pulpit are the verses I use at five o'clock and I don't know the man really? of God. Yes. <laughs> when he talks about praising the Lord, I, I, I just um, go in, um, praise the Lord. And I just say, today I'm not asking God for anything for my sisters in, in Christ uh, with, with their problems. We're just going to praise God. And the man of God is just praising God on this day. And I'm like, this is not normal. This is supernatural. I have to go and meet that spiritual father of mine and <laughs> <laughs> ask him. <laughs>And from that day, the encounter of the glory of God manifested so powerfully that every time that Papa came in, you know, to do the services, it, it was so powerful that I, I couldn't even me myself, I couldn't even stand in the presence because uh, the power of God was overtaking everything in me. I feel that the, that the Lord has been working on me in, 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 in such a way that I am not the same person as I came here. When I came here, I had so many worries. I look, for example, when a, a situation approaches my life, I look, it, I look at it in a different kind of way, not worrying, not being stressful. Like I look at the situation in a different way as another person who is a child of God would look at it. But before I would get stressed out or start to worry. So I feel really purged, like, like, um, like purge, like somebody just sucked, sucked something out of me and I feel lighter. I don't have any weight on me anymore. You know, you know, you know what I mean? Like the peace of the Lord is in me, but I feel lighter. I move lighter. I feel, I just feel great. I would like to thank the Lord Almighty for having directed me um, to be able to meet the man of God because obviously it was ordained from the Father. I wouldn't have met it if it wasn't from God because everything about my life, I always have to confirm it. And the Lord has confirmed so many things. I am so happy that the Lord has answered me. At last, I have a spiritual father. So I thank the Heavenly Father for really... Um, showing me his confirmation through the man of God and I thank the Lord Almighty God for the man of God for the masses and the works he's doing in this house because I know 100% he's, he's a true man of God I just thank the Lord for his his life due to malicious and fraudulent activities 
Please note that these are the only official two accounts of the ministry. For EFT or Bank Transfer Bank, First National Bank, FNB, Account Name, New World Faith Ministries, Account Number, 6226703548 Branch Woodstock Branch Code 250655 Swift Code FIRNZAJJ Building Project Banking Details City of Sons Bank First National Bank FNB Account Name New World Faith Ministries Account Number 623-569-03578 Branch Code 250655 Branch Woodstock Swift Code FIRNZAJJ To give online, kindly visit our website and use the following link www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give Here, you can give via Payfast for those that are in Southern Africa in PayPal for international donations. Please note that the following is our official and only PayPal email for the ministry. Donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org Kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line plus 27634235895 or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org